Autonomous driving technology is no longer a far-fetched idea in science fiction, but it is gradually coming into our lives to fulfill our mobility needs. In Nansha Guangzhou and Yizhuang, Beijing, Pony AI has fully expanded our autonomous driving service, Pony Pilot Plus. You can easily travel with our robo-taxi by simply downloading our Pony Pilot Plus app. Pony AI has never stopped exploring the boundaries of autonomous driving technology and is steadily moving towards our goal of scaling up and going driverless. Now, let's join the ride with our two founders and experience the excellent performance of Pony AI's autonomous vehicles. At the bottom right of the panel, we can see our autonomous vehicle in real time, the status of traffic lights, posted speed limit, our vehicle speed, and the swing of the steering wheel. The blue path is the vehicle trajectory calculated by our autonomous vehicle in real time. After turning right, our autonomous vehicle identifies several temporarily stopped vehicles, so we change to the left lane and nudge around. The green boxes around our vehicle represents cars. Motorcycles, mopeds, or bicycles are in orange, and pedestrians are in yellow. The small arrows on the boxes represent the orientation of the objects. The auto sign indicates that our vehicle is in autonomous driving mode. At the intersection ahead, we detect both slow mopeds on the right and fast oncoming vehicles in the left lane behind us. At the same time, many buses are coming from the right side. Our autonomous vehicle reasonably plans the travel trajectory to ensure an efficient passage. Many pedestrians are crossing ahead of us. Our vehicle doesn't brake, but slowly reduces the speed and waits for them to pass. Once they safely pass through, our car gradually speeds up and gets back on track. This approach ensures a comfortable riding experience. We arrive at a T-junction. There are many pedestrians, motorcycles, and vehicles. Our autonomous driving system needs to detect hundreds and thousands of road agents and process the information simultaneously. During the turn, our vehicle smoothly dodges a motorcycle that cuts in quickly from the lane to our right. If you look closely, you can see that we have several slight slowdowns. The reason for this is that we anticipate the car right beside us to approach our lane and nudge around the slow moped. Therefore, we slow down a bit to leave enough safe space. While starting to cross the intersection, our autonomous vehicle perceives that construction trucks and workers occupy the road. Considering that the cars in the next lane may need to borrow our lane to nudge around, our vehicle decides to slow down to avoid them in advance smoothly. Here we need to make a lane change to the left. We are still able to find an appropriate time to complete that in such highly dense traffic. We detect a car cutting in ahead and our vehicle slows down smoothly to avoid it. This car changes three lanes and finally enters the turnaround lane. This kind of vehicle behavior is very rare but our system is always prepared for such extreme situations because safety first is our principle. Looking closely at the panel, we can see that the system can detect not only the traffic lights that directly affect our vehicle trajectory, but also other signals at the intersection, including crosswalk lights. This helps us better predict the behavior of other road agents and identify the status of traffic lights when they are occluded by large vehicles. Right ahead, our system detects a vehicle turning right out of the side road. It may enter our lane, so we slow down slightly. This way, we not only improve the safety level, but avoid being too conservative, thus affecting the riding experience.
While waiting for the traffic light at this intersection, we are gradually surrounded by mopeds. At this time, we are very close to them. To drive comfortably in this scenario, we need to perceive the surrounding objects with centimeter level accuracy. Therefore, strict control is required in modules such as localization, perception, and control. Here we detect the moped in front of us. To avoid it suddenly reversing or turning, we slow down slightly and deviate to the right. The driving behavior of mopeds is quite random and we need to keep a sufficient safety distance from them. Recognizing that a red light is ahead, our autonomous vehicle gradually slows down, stopping comfortably by the stop line. This is similar to human drivers. Our car detects many pedestrians and mopeds when we are about to turn right. The traffic light is yellow at this point. We slow down a bit and plan a reasonable route to keep a proper distance from the pedestrians and mopeds around us so that we can pass the intersection comfortably. There is a moped on the right driving in the wrong direction. Our trajectory veers slightly to the left to nudge around it. Two cars are lining up to wait for a U-turn ahead on the left. At this moment, we have the right of way to pass because we are going straight. So we follow the lead vehicle and plan a trajectory to overtake it. However, when we reach the car making the U-turn, it suddenly speeds up and aggressively cuts in. We promptly change the planned trajectory and reduce our speed to wait for it. After letting vehicles and pedestrians all pass, we continue our journey. We are approaching a crosswalk and we slightly slow down again to yield to the pedestrians. Our system identifies the red light at the next intersection and our vehicle begins to slow down comfortably. In addition to the color information, our autonomous vehicle can identify flashing lights and countdown information accurately. By detecting the brake lights and the change of direction of the bus on the right, our vehicle predicts that it intends to cut into our lane, so we slow down slightly to avoid it. Tail lights are an important source of information to determine the intent of a vehicle. In addition to brake lights, our autonomous vehicle also identifies information such as hazard lights, turn signals, and reverse lights. After crossing the intersection, we plan a change to the right lane. However, we detect the car on the right is about to change to their left at the exact same moment. For safety reasons, we immediately cancel our lane change and wait for it. After it completes its lane change, we continue our planned lane change to the right. This is similar to a human driver, who would shoulder check before changing lanes and hold off if a fast car is approaching. After the intersection, we can see that the sun is obfuscating the camera, but our autonomous vehicle can still identify the left turn light ahead as red. It would be very difficult for a human driver to identify the traffic light in this kind of situation because of the severe glare. Here we arrived at our destination. Three passengers step out and appear to be pedestrians in our autonomous vehicle's point of view. This marks the end of our driverless journey for today. We welcome you to experience our robo-taxi service. Pony AI, always on the road.